Hello, hello, welcome to Shading White. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a thread up 15 piece from Swanee, Georgia, hot off the presses. I just got this today. And then we have an auction bag to do. This is from that estate from our local jewelry auction that happened the end of 2023. Um, um, so I'm looking forward to getting to this. I know it's, I've had these a long time. I do keep the jewelry for quite a, uh, the auction jewelry for quite some time. So, um, I have seen it as far back as, um, I think I saw some from 2017. Um, so you never know how old our, our bags are from the auction. If you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms and bring everything to you first. Um, we do jewelry videos on Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uploads. And um, what we do, where we get our jewelry from is uh, thread up goodwill um ebay auctions um our um local jewelry auction um even flea markets which i don't do very often anymore um estate sales and uh thrift stores so um i haven't been able to get a thread up box of any type since April. So when I saw this come up, I was yeehawing, very, very excited. So um, I was able to snag a box. As I said, I just got this and I ordered it on June 24th. These are $54 plus $9.99 shipping plus uh, sales tax. So for me, it is $68 and some change. Um, this is what it comes looking like, wrapped up. Um, Tony Georgia always does a really nice job. All right, there's that. Then we have the empty box. Okay, we have some air pockets. And the tissue. And then Swanee, I'm going to push the... Um, auction bag out of the way. But this is what it looks like coming from Swanee. Um, love the way they put everything in bubble wraps. They do a nice job. Okay. So I don't count mine in the beginning because they always combine um, in the bubble bags. So we're just going to open them and be surprised. Let me tell you how you order if you do see something you're interested in. Ooh. Simply send us an email to one shadyy at gmail.com in your email to us. Be sure to send us a timestamp and a description of what you're looking for. If you haven't already purchased from us, be sure to send us your mailing address. And then um, we do invoices on Saturdays once a week. You can combine jewelry all through the week um, from past videos. Um, I don't go through further back than a month, um, but pretty much a month, I keep them all um, bagged up the way they were. Um, however, um, I after I we do the initial video and that sells, I do a sold list of those. I generally do not go back and add things to that sold list um, just because it's too much of a hassle. And um, let's see. So I send you a PayPal invoice in your um, PayPal invoice. You do not have to have a PayPal account. You can pay as a guest. You can use Venmo. You can use any credit card generally, debit card. Uh, very simple to pay. And um, shipping is $5 in the United States. Um, under 12 ounces, anything over 12 ounces or outside the United States based on where you're located and how much it weighs. And um, we do daily shorts, Monday through Friday, that upload generally between 12 and 1. Those are also for sale. Those prices are right there in the description of that short. 
and that's pretty much it. Um, let's just get to it. We're all here to see jewelry. And I want to thank everyone um, so much for um, all the um, wonderful well-wishing for my birthday. Also, for our third year anniversary. If you didn't see um, Tuesday's video, there is a giveaway for that. Please be sure to go back, watch, do what the video tells you to do so you can be entered in um, that giveaway. It, the giveaway is for um, 30 20 or $10 dollars off um your order um or off of whatever you want to buy from us and um that is not good for shipping anything else um starting in july i'm going to do a once a month giveaway um so um if you haven't already subscribed below be sure to do that hit the all uh, hit the bell to all that way you're notified anytime we put up a video as i do um occasionally put up bonus videos of designer boxes um tutorials uh, i am coming up um, probably in a week or two of a massive um, Pandora um, video. So be sure to um, come back for that. Okay, so let's get to the jewelry. Okay, our first item looks to be unsigned. It is faux pearls, um, a leather tassel. Um, they have like little, so they are faux, and then they have little brown seed beads in between. Um, as I said, my little cat, um, broke, so I have an antique little, um, measuring tape. This is about 30 inches with a four inch extension, and then the tassel is five inches. So on this, I'm just gonna say, let's do $6. It looks like it's in brand new condition. Let's move auction bag out of the way and we'll put that right there. Our next item looks to be signed, White House Black Market. Another tassel, I think our theme might be tassels. Um, here we have a faceted um, black, um, resin possibly acrylic with three um rhinestones silver tone really cool looking chain um pretty long it is as i said silver tone black black house white market with a um lobster clasp it is a two inch extension 30 inches and then a four and a half inch um, drop on this one. And on the White House Black Market, um, excellent condition, is, except there does look to be some light scratches right here. You can see them a little bit right there. And on this one, I'm gonna do, let's say $6 because there is a little bit of scratching. Next is a Ann Taylor new with tags. Um, very pretty gold tone with um, like a faux tortoise shell. Very pretty. It's a toggle clasp. That is very nice. Let's see. It says it was originally $68. Wow. Um, but this is sweet. And then on the chain, which is also tortoiseshell, there is um, rhinestones on the gold um, middle um, links. None missing. There does look to be some light scratching, probably just from being in the bag. Um, as I said, it is a toggle clasp. It is 18 inches, no extension. And on this, I'm gonna say, let's do, uh, let's do $6. 
All right, next. Looks like we have some bracelets or cuffs. Our first bangle is hot pink between, I'm going to say a fuchsia pink. It says Rise Above, Kate Spade. Um, the um, enamel is in good condition. Um, just needs a little wipe down um, on the inside and outside, but it is looks in really good condition. Uh, let's get us a size. It is a size probably eight inch, I'm gonna say. Really sweet, and on this, I'm gonna say, let's do, let's do eight dollars. Good condition, as I almost drop it, but eight dollars on the Kate Spade. Looks like we have an Alex and Ani. Yes, uh, this one's sweet, gold tone. Um, looks like it's in new condition. Aurora uh, Borealis faceted um, beads with gold um, uh, bicone beads and um, really sweet. I love that. Adjustable, of course. Um, no tarnish on this one. Um, very pretty. I love that Aurora Borealis. And on this one, I'm going to say let's do $8.00. That is really a nice one. Okay, next we have a cup. It's very pretty. This looks like a gold leaf. So I am looking for a... That's impossible to find a um, signature in that... It is like a filigree lace. That is gorgeous. Um, it is, I'm gonna say three inches. Yeah, three inches. It has leaves and flowers, all open work. Well done. This is gorgeous. Again, I don't see a name. It is a size seven. It does have some movement, so you can open it or close it. But on this, I'm gonna say let's do let's do ten dollars on this one. Very sweet, love that. Okay, let's open this one next. All right, this looks like J. Crew. I love the way J. Crew does um, their clear rhinestones. Just really nice pieces. Um, nice and bright and twisted. Let's untwist. There we go. All right, let's see if anything's missing. Oh, that's sweet. So it's a little um, like so. That is nice. Um, it is the, um, what is it? Senorita clasp, um, J. Crew. It is a gold, antique gold tone. It is 16 inches with a two and a half inch extension. Um, very sweet. As I said, nothing missing. And on this one, I'm going to say let's do $12. Um, hmm, not familiar with this brand. Zinzi. I'm not familiar with that. Um, it says it was originally $29. It is one strand, and that one strand is it's 
72 inches. Um, really um, pretty. It's like um, faux pearls. And um, they do have seams with these gold beads. Um, sweet. Um, so it was originally $29. So I'm going to say let's do $10. Really, really pretty color. Um, I would say like a salmon color. Um, and the beads have um, texture and design to them. So very nice. Definitely um, leaning toward the gold. I mean, we have had a couple silvers, but mainly leaning toward um, some nice gold tones as I pull out a silver tone. <laughs> All right, this is also White House Black Market. Um, and this is multi-strand. Here we go. This way? Yeah. Okay, so we have a main um, lobster class. And then we have two um, strands that go on that. So you can wear these individually or together. Um, the first one, let me see. It is wrapped around each other still. So let's see. I mean, it's very pretty. White and silver. There we go. All right, so this is one strand with faceted white beads and here's the second strand um really pretty two beads with um uh, rhinestones around it and then when they hang together they look like so so very sweet they are Thirty six inches each. They look like they hang together, and then there's also um, about two and a half inches extension. So very nice White House Black Market. There is a little um, discount. Actually, it looks like it's glue or like a um, yeah, it's a glue. I'll get that off, but I'm gonna say let's do six dollars on this one. All right, we have two more pouches. Looks like our earrings. All right, the first one uh, let's see if these are signed. No. But they're very pretty. They are neither one signed. We have rhinestones that are clear and then blue and then green. The back of them are um, black. And on these, I'm going to say $3. These. Um, they are cool to the test. Touch. Let's see if these are sterling. Um, they are not. They just disappeared. So just silver tone with um, subtype, probably a Jasper, I'm going to say. So on these, I'm just going to say, uh, let's do $4. And then these are more White House Black Market. We got the White House Black Market bag <laughs> or box. These are pretty. Um, silver tone with... Um, rondelles um clear faceted beads blue faceted beads and then like a smoky um faceted bead really pretty these were originally 34 dollars and on these i'm gonna say let's do 10 
Um, nice new tags, always great to keep around for gifts. And our last bag um, we have a watch. Um, hmm. A no name watch. <laughs> I don't think this has been our best box uh, by far. Um, so it says, um, quartz movement. It is in excellent condition. It looks brand new. Um, actually it doesn't look brand new. It definitely has been, um, you know, sitting with it, um, probably in one spot, but I don't see any, um, uh, scratches whatsoever. And this is interesting. This is like, it is not like a calf's hair. It's like a suede, but it's faux leather. Um, but interesting. I am not even going to give it a guess what type of animal it would be similar to. Um, if you would like to in the comments, that's fine. I'm not real great at that. Um, and it is a gold tone. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Barry see if the um, he can change the battery. Um, it does have the battery um, size. So we will see if um, he can get it running. Then we have these, which are um, Druzy. Oh, my bags are falling over on me. Um, these say bobble bar. Okay, so we have gray, um, druzy, um, earrings, and I'm going to say they look brand new. They have not been worn, and I'm going to say let's do $4 on those. And the last thing we have is a pair of guest earrings. These are really sweet. I like them. Um, they're new on cards. They still have the double backs on them. They are green and um, uh, clear <laughs> faceted rhinestones. And um, really, really sweet. I'm going to say they're about three and a half inches. And, um, or... Yeah, about three and a quarter, maybe, inches. And on these, I'm going to say, let's do $5. So we have Guess, Bobble Bar, a No Name, um, and No Name. So we have two and two. And then we have a No Name Watch. So let's put them there. So we have three No Name and two Name. This one I couldn't find, but I will look this up. That goes in the no name. We have White House Black Market. So that's three. This one is um, White House Black Market. So that's four. This one is that um, Zen Senzi. So that's a four marked. Um, five with the... Um, Alex and Ani, um, six with the Kate Spade, uh, seven with the Ann Taylor, eight with the um, White House Black Market, nine with the um, J. Crew, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Did I just miscount? One, two, three, four, five. I think I miscounted. Yes, I miscounted. So there is ten um, signed pieces and 
uh, five unsigned. Um, I don't think this was a great box. I don't think this was a bad box. Um, so five and um, 10, um, so five unsigned, 10 signed with nothing broken. My last couple ones have had a lot of broken pieces. So not a horrible box, not a great box, but I think it should still make its money back. Um, so next we are going to do um, the auction bag. Let me pour this out. And as I said, this bag, um, auction tray bag, was from last year in October. So October 2023. This is Art Deco necklaces and beads. These are all glass. There might be plastic, but I think most of these are going to be glass. Um, so these came from that extremely um, amazing um, estate with the woman who was from New York originally, and she was a jeweler, and um, she was part of our um, auction family who came weekly, and um, she passed away, sadly, and um, her family brought her pieces to the auction, and amazing pieces they were. This is gorgeous. This is stunning. It is glass, um, and it is white and black. Just a beautiful. Let me see if that's marked. I don't believe so. It is a thumb clasp. Um, it is short. This is going to be 16 inches, but it is so gorgeous. Um, as I said, it is glass. Um, beautiful. Um, it's like a milk glass and a black glass, but that white is stunningly white. Um, and sorry, it is raining outside, so it is very... Um, dark so if these aren't coming out super bright I apologize but this is gorgeous so on this one I'm gonna say let's do um, beautiful $25 next we have this pair of faux pearls with glass um, green beads and rondelles it has a barrel class um, very, very well done. These are like champagne, um, color pearls. They are 34 inches. Just a gorgeous green with those champagne, um, faux pearls. Um, and, uh, they need to be cleaned. They are not are they? They are not tied in between. And on these, I'm going to do, let's say, let's do $18 on those. Next, we have these purple ones. Now, these are glass. And these, um, are pretty long. These are like, I think these are called trumpeted or no, these are long um, bicone beads. They're all glass and then they're all hand cut. They're not exactly the same. Um, you can also tell um, by the faceted center beads. Those have all been um, hand cut. These are all um, older from the 1910s to 1930s. This one is 44 inches and just gorgeous. These have lots and lots of um, um, flea bites. But as I said, these are all rough cut. Um, I think they're supposed to be that way. There's not one that doesn't have um, like the chisel marks. You can see on every single one of them. Um, but, so they're not perfect, not meant to be perfect. And on these, um, I'm going to say, let's do $15. Beautiful, beautiful beads. 
Here is another set of purple um, glass. These are slightly different color, or are they? No, these are the same. So these two could have been together. Also, hand cut, and see all the um, flea bites on them. All of them like are chisel marks. This one is, let's see the size. Actually, this one was 54 inches. This one is 54 inches also. Beautiful, and I'm gonna say the same price on these, um, but they are gorgeous, um, definitely beauties. Definitely vintage, definitely Art Nouveau. Now this one is gorgeous also. All these are gorgeous. I think they are just stunning pieces. Definitely older, um, with the quality to them. This is um, black glass, silver tone, 16 inch shorter necklace. Let's get them all facing the right way. These need to have a good washing which these are glass, so you can wash these. These are 16 inches. They are all um, prong set, has um, a little bit of vertigree right here. Um, this is a thumb clasp. And on these, I'm just gonna say, let's do $10 on these. These are really like, these are like orange uh, red. These are also hand cut. Um, red and black glass. These um, have this fabulous tassel um, with seed beads. These are all hand cut also. Um, and it probably needs to be restrung. This has been repaired a few times. Um, but look at those hand cut glass. Uh, this one is so Art Deco, Art Nouveau with the tassel. Um, but I love the um, reddish orange with the black. This one is thirty inches, and then the drop on this is an additional six, uh, eight inches. Um, but a fabulous flapper, Art Nouveau. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do 25. Uh, stunningly gorgeous. Now, this one's black. These are hand cut also glass. It is just one long strand. These are long enough, all of them, to um, be doubled up or tripled up. This one is 48 inches. Beautiful black. Um, all of these hand cut, so they're not meant to be perfect, just beautiful. And on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do $15. Then we have two red ones, okay? This one, um, the thumb clasp, these are older thumb clasps. As you can see, um, the um, how huge the thumb part comes out and the part that goes in is like non-existent. Um, so these are faceted red, Trying to see if these are hand cut. Um, I think they are. On the smaller ones, it's harder to see. These could be a machine cut because they are pretty exact. I'm not seeing 
very many flea bites on these. Um, in my opinion, on when the ones are hand cut, they are rough cut, okay? Um, so this one, these beads are just gorgeous. Is 30 inches, and on this one, I'm gonna say 15. And then on this one, these are hand cut. Um, you can see they're rough. Um, just a beautiful, these are the same color, okay? Um, and this one is also, um, I'm gonna say it's 32 inches. It's a little longer. Also with that um, older thumb class, generally um, from 1900 to about 1920, do you see these um, thumb um, original, like it's actually not even a thumb, it's just like a little notch. And um, this one, I'm gonna say, let's do $15. And the last one we have is this beauty. This is um, on a um, silver paper, clip chain um, and then um, look at those beautiful crystals they are um, like bells they're cut like bells um, just sweet and then the center ones are bicone and then we have a round one here at the bottom they are all um, faceted cut and these, this one is, I'm going to say 20 inches. Um, this um, fish hook needs to be cleaned, um, but it's just sweet. And on this one, I'm going to do um, $30. Let's see, how much time do we have left? We have a little time. I'm gonna um, add one more bag. Okay, let's do one more bag. This is a smaller bag, um, but I've had this one a long time also. Um, this one I have had 2023. This is sterling gemstones and mixed metals. So I'm going to have to test the silver because I have not gone through this bag testing. Um, so let's just scoot it over to the side um, and we will go through it um, as we get there. Okay, we have let's see if this one's signed. It is. We have a Amco Sterling. I want to show this a little closer. Um, it didn't show up very well um, with a lot of detail. This is in amazing condition. This is um, Mother of Pearl um, shell um, and just gorgeous. This is by Amco and Amco um, was um, a company that um, is a period um, McAlphilip, I think is how you say it, and company, A-M-C-O. And it was founded in Providence, Rhode Island um, in 1919. And however, the signature A-M-C-O didn't appear on jewelry until um, 1935. And the company produced costume jewelry, um, with some gold, some gold filled, some sterling. They did a lot of rings and cameos, brooches. Um, they had stunning designs and they were in high quality. They were up there um, comparable to Vandel and Cremence. And the company ceased to exist in um, 1970s. 
and their pieces are just really, really um, hard to come by. You don't see as many as you do say of the Corments pieces. Um, it is signed Sterling here, also here, and it has the um, Amco um, Sterling right here. So it is marked quite a bit. And on this piece, I'm going to, um, uh, I think this, let me do it. As I said, it does have the safety latch. It does have the larger um, thumb clasp, which is more um, common in the 50s and 60s. And this piece is, um, I'm going to say a size 7. I wouldn't go larger than a 7 on this. And I'm going to do, um, and it does have the safety. And on this one, I'm going to say let's do $40. All right, this one I'm going to test because I think these sometimes are a little um, hard to um, get the feel of it from. I definitely am going to guess it's sterling and there's the blue why is that yeah both of them's blue um so we have this really pretty marked Italy and 925. It is a triple um, braided um, S-link chain. It is 16 inches. And I'm going to say, let's do $20 on that one. This one is a flat lay chain. It is marked 925. with a thumb clasp. Sterling silver. This one is, it does have a kink right here. Um, you can get kinks out of these by um, just you keep pulling it through your fingernail and it will loosen up. And this one is 24 inches, um, but, but because you need to keep um, pulling this, I'm going to say, let's just do $20 on that one. This one is a bracelet. Mark 925, this is a triple strand S chain. It is a, I'm trying to see if this is gold. Yeah, this is a gold wash, sterling silver. Definitely um, gold wash sterling. And this one is, let's do a flat lay. Oh, we can do it on the bracelet thing. It's seven inches. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do $15. Then we have these that are signed Mexico 925, sterling silver, um, cat eye glass in green. And on these, I'm going to say um, beautiful green on those. I'm going to say, let's do $18. These are pretty button 
sterling silver. What else does that say? It says sterling BAB and then a patent number on these. And then it is um, initialed and it says um, because the middle initial is bigger, it can be D M. What is that middle initial? <sighs> um, it might be an H. I am not a hundred percent. That's what they look like. Definitely sterling silver. All of this sterling, I will send buffing cloths with. Um, each one of them and um, these I'm going to say let's do um, $20 sweet little clip-on earrings this one that is a cool symbol it is an L with an arrow it is small turquoise with a braided um, um, rope. It's small though. This is a size four and three fourths. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do uh, $40. That is sweet. Um, very nicely done. hundred percent sterling silver. It feels like butter. Love that. Okay, next we have this one. This is a thumb clasp um, with um, faceted black, I'm going to say glass. Let me test this. It's definitely... Um, like a black patina. Definitely sterling silver, blue as could be. So this one is seven inches, slightly over seven inches. And on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do uh, $10. Next, we have a bracelet. Oh my goodness, this is a fabulous. Um, this is another one that is sterling. Um, the reason it said mixed metals probably is because maybe one of these might not be sterling, even though they're all marked that I've found so far. Uh, is the genie not marked? The genie um, is not marked. The Virgo is not marked. And the horse. So let me test those. Okay, so what did I say? Um, the horse, let's test the horse. The genie lamp. The Virgo. And the dog. I'm gonna test the bracelet also. All right, that's hard to test. It all looks sterling to me, but let's just be sure. Uh, 
Ugh. The charms are that the bracelet isn't coming up. So let me test the bracelet again. Where that dries, let's just get another stone. So that is the chain. Let's do the link. It is. All right. So definitely. This is a cool bracelet, charm bracelet. This has New York has this running these are all sterling um horse and see they're marked sterling on the back this one says me for you this one i love this is like a ranch style house this is a genie lamp this is a heart that says sterling with a little tiny diamond ring. It's not diamond, I'm sure. It's probably just a rhinestone. This is a Virgo um, symbol in blue. And then it says Virgo, the Virgin Purity. And then a standing horse. And then the best one yet is this spotted little dog. Oh my gosh, I love this. All of this is on a, like, 1940s um, thumbless um, bracelet. That's why I was thinking this had to be sterling. Um, it goes like so. Uh, I love this. I love old 1940s bracelets. This is... six and a half inches and I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine charms. I'm going to say $150. Um, love this. So beautiful. Then we have this uh, Rolo chain, a sand dollar, tiny little thumb clasp. Let's test it. I haven't found anything that wasn't sterling yet. This is sterling, I can already tell. You can just feel that buttery feel that sterling is. There's our blue. And this is Signed on the back, 925. Um, it is patinaed, 16 inches. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do $15. And the last one we have is this chain. It is a tiny little um, thumb clasp. with a um, cable chain, 16 inches. Sterling silver. And I'm gonna say, let's do $15 for that one. What'd you think? 
15 piece from thread up art nouveau um glass beaded necklaces sterling silver gemstone let me know what you liked i like the variety of it all i enjoyed this Hopefully you did too. If you saw anything that interested you, definitely send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. I hope everybody has an amazing weekend. And don't forget, if you haven't already watched and commented on our giveaway from Tuesday, definitely do that. That drawing is going to be on Tuesday. Um, I think that's July 2nd. So everybody have a wonderful weekend and we will see you on the next one.